Evacuees from wildfires in the Northwest Territories driving 20 hours to here in St. Albert, where evacuees are being told to go. Not sure what they'll be going home to. Uh, August 21st, I'm due, yeah. So, pretty high pressure. I had a bunch of birth plans in Hay River, and then now I'm in the middle of the city, so. Giving birth in just a few days and spending nearly a day on the road, Tanisha Edison says her and her family are relieved to be safe in St. Albert, telling me they had to leave their home in minutes. My family, we were swimming in the water and we could see the fire in the distance, which we thought was at Kakiza. We were watching it. We were just like laughing, playing in the water, didn't think anything of it, watching the smoke go and because it was pretty, we thought it was pretty far. And then all of a sudden we get an alert on our phone, be ready if you need to evacuate. Then five minutes later, it was like, get the heck out of here. Provincial authorities have asked the city of St. Albert to help and house evacuees as cities further north fill up. St. Albert has already seen 550 people this week heading to hotels in St. Albert and Edmonton. Officials say St. Albert will be at capacity late Wednesday. After that, those who fled the flames up north will head south to Leduc. We've got some water and juice and fruit to give them something to nourish themselves. We have hygiene supplies on site because we don't know every situation different. People have had to flee at a moment's notice. The Northwest Territories is under a state of emergency as wildfires edge closer to the capital of Yellowknife. Those escaping the flames and smoke are asked to drive south as accommodations fill to capacity. With communications down in some rural parts of the Northwest Territories, evacuees are helping each other stay in touch with family. We have some really nice people who are sharing their Starlink right now, so if you're able to get to them and then people just pass on messages is, hey, have you seen this person, that person? There's a Facebook page you can register or go on and say, hey, we're safe. Do you know if someone else is? They're good. Reporting from St. Albert, Darcy Robchan, City News.